My name is Megan, and I'm here to talk about my ex Woo, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, um, I'm here to talk about my experience with Lab Shul and why I think it's important that all of us who can move money to this vital, beautiful organization and community. So why am I with Lab Shul? When I moved to New York after college, my work in more conventional acting turned into more applied theater, weird process drama, interactive theater. Think like storytelling without the Jewish stuff. Um, and I felt a really deep emptiness and hunger for connection to my Jewish ancestors and traditions. And lucky for me, I had peers tell me that I needed to join Lab Shul. They were like, Megan, this is your place. You have to go there. And it took me a really long time. But in 2020, I joined the Daily Soul Spas. And at Lab Shul, I felt, to use your word, love, like love wrapping around me. And yeah, people say it's a cliche, but it is not a cliche. This is love. This is warmth. It's acceptance. And the more involved I got, the more I felt this fiery fusion of social justice and liberation, theater making, education, and of course, Judaism, God optional Judaism. Getting to explore this work with and for people of all ages has been life changing for me. So let's all close our eyes or look to the ground, whatever feels good. So how much will you give to Lab Shul right now? Maybe it is the amount that you'd spend on a night out or a short weekend trip upstate, or maybe something more. Think of a number in your head that feels possible and not necessarily comfortable. Our world sometimes makes me feel like I need to hold on to my money, like I'll never have enough, and so I resist giving. What would it be like to let go, give more than you are used to? How can moving money like this strengthen our community and make this community, this place sustainable? Thank you all. Uh -huh.